Hi everyone, this is Aaron for Zolotech, and we're going to compare the benchmarks of the Note 3 versus the iPhone 5S. Now obviously the Note 3 looks giant compared to the 5S, but I thought we'd see which one actually shows best in benchmark tests. Now there's been some debate that the Note 3 kind of spoofs those numbers, but let's check for ourselves and see what we get. So I've closed all applications on the iPhone 5 or 5S rather, and then if I tap and hold here, you'll see there's no apps open. If I go to the task manager, uh, let's end all. And let's go to our apps for benchmarking. We're going to use Geekbench 3 and 3D Mark. So let's use 3D Mark first. Let's get this little arrow out of the way on the side here and let's scroll down. Now you can see it says this test is too light for your device. Try running unlimited. So we're going to run unlimited on both. And here we go. Now I'll speed this up while it loads. We have the results for the iPhone 5S. Results are coming up for the Note 3. And you can see that the Note 3 wins by a little bit. 18,955 to 14,000. So really impressive. The Note 3 does have a quad core processor with three gigs of RAM. The 5S has a dual core processor with one gig of RAM. So now that we've run that, let's close out of it, close it out. Again, close out. We'll check the task manager. Nothing's running. And we'll move on to Geekbench 3. We'll open Geekbench 3 and we'll run benchmarks. Again, I'll speed this up. There are our scores. For the single core score, we get 1412 and 2552 for the iPhone 5S, 964 and 3019 for the Note 3. Let's do a quick real world test also. Let's see how fast the browsers are. So we'll open Safari and Chrome and We'll close out all the tabs. And now we'll go to Zolotech on both. So we'll tap on Zolotech. Now both of these are using Wi-Fi and they both should load pretty quickly. And let's scroll and see what we get here. So much faster on one, but smoother, I guess, on the right here. Now they're about the same. I really can't say that they're not smoother than the other. So let's go to the old benchmark shootout and load that, that I did with lots of different phones. Scroll down, see where that is here. Tap on those and see how fast those load. So the iPhone 5S is slightly faster at showing everything, but they kind of finish at the same time. No problems there. So both about the same as far as that goes. Let's try a voice search. So I'll open Siri here. What was the last Steelers score? So you can see they're basically about the same as far as speed goes, just presented a little bit differently. Finally, let's see how fast a game loads. We'll open Angry Birds Star Wars. They're both loading. It's pretty close, but the Note 3 seems like it's a little bit in front. So you can see both have impressive scores as far as benchmarks go. Both are about the same as far as quickness of loading websites and apps. So they're both about the same. Which one would you choose and why? Let me know in the comments below. If you haven't subscribed already, please subscribe. As always, thanks for watching. This is Aaron. I'll see you next time.